Today I'm going to show you how to take your basic eye makeup look to the next level. Sharing some of my favorite tips and tricks for getting that pro finish. So let's get started. To start with, I always apply an eyeshadow primer. Here I'm going to mix eyeshadow primer with a little bit of concealer or foundation. This is going to help to make sure that the eyeshadow primer works with your skin tone so it's not too light or too dark. It's also a great way to shear off any eyeshadow primers that can be slightly drying on dry skin or more mature skin. The concealer helps the primer work with your skin tone and the texture. For oily lids, you want to use an eyeshadow primer that matches your skin tone as close as possible. Once you've applied your eyeshadow primer, it should feel slightly damp. This is actually okay because it will give the eyeshadow something to grab hold of. The basic areas of the eye would be the lid area, the crease area, this is where the lid creases into the eye shape, but also refers to any area above this point, but stopping underneath the brow bone. And the brow bone really isn't actually the brow bone. It's just the area underneath the brows. For this look, I've created a warm nude palette, but you can create any palette that you want using these tips. One is your base shade. This should be at least one shade lighter than your skin tone or could possibly be the same. Then you have your contour shade. This should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And you have your mid-tone or your transition shade. I call it a mid-tone because it's a middle tone. And then we have our highlighter, which has a shimmer or a frost or some sort of a metallic finish. Your mid-tone is probably the hardest to find, but it actually makes the biggest difference. Try looking at your favorite nude lipstick. Here we've gone for like a warm palette. So I've used a warm nude lipstick as a guide. You can see how your mid-tone works with the rest of the colors. It's almost as if you mix them all together and gave it a matte finish. For applying the eyeshadows, you are gonna need a blending brush a flat brush, a clean blending brush, or a spare blending brush. This is just gonna give you that nice clean blend. And then a small brush for applying, whether it's a pencil brush or a flat brush or a small blending brush. This one's my favorite. Starting off with the blending brush, we're gonna take our mid-tone to start with. And I typically like to start off with my mid-tone on the outer edge of the eye, working over and back in the crease, keeping my hand nice and low, and slightly looking down in a mirror. By keeping my hand nice and low, it actually helps to blend it up ever so slightly, working upward towards the brow bone. If you're not sure where to stop and start your blend, try creating a few parallel invisible lines. Use the edge of your nose, edge of your eye and brow as one line, and then create a parallel line that works in that inner corner and keep your blend within these two points. Taking our applying brush next, we are gonna take the contour shade. Pick up a little bit of the product just on the outer edge and start to apply this on the outer quarter of the lid. You really wanna start off with a very small amount because our lid should feel a little bit damp and this may end up holding on to that contour a little bit too much. So slowly build this up. Start on that outer quarter of the lid and then you can start to blend it a little further in, very slightly into the crease as well, making sure that your mid-tone is always higher than your contour. Don't worry about the application, just get the eyeshadow in the correct area because now we're gonna take our blending brush and start to blend this out. For this blend, I want you to lift your hand slightly higher so it's about nose height on the face. This will prevent your contour from blending up too high. The higher your hand, the lower the blend. The lower your hand, the higher the blend. As this is a contour, we wanna keep it nice and low to prevent it from moving past the mid-tone that we've already applied. Remember to keep within your two points as well. Next, we're gonna take our blending brush and we're gonna take a fade shade. So your fade shade is sort of like the bonus shade that's not in your palette. It could also be your blush if you prefer. Take a small amount of this onto your clean blending brush and just ever so slightly kiss the hood of the eye or the meeting point of the brow bone and the crease. So feel for the actual brow bone. Feel where that area kind of jots out and just tap a little bit of this fade shade in that area. It makes it look like your blending skills are top notch. Now we're gonna take our flat brush and we're gonna take that matte highlighter shade. So it's about one shade lighter than our skin tone. And we're just gonna tap this underneath the brows. So this is typically the brow bone area, but really it's just close to the eyebrows. And the reason we do this is to keep it nice and clean in that area. This will actually sharpen up everything else that you've applied. Sticking with that same brush, take some of your concealer and I want you to apply this on that inner third of the lid. So what I typically do is I go up right where the lid creases into the eye shape. And I drag it downwards then, bringing it along the lash line. And you wanna start on that inner corner and then sweep it to about the halfway point of the lid. Take your time with this. You're basically creating a cleaner lid. 
Once you've done that, take your fingertip and I want you to tap off any of the remaining excess, particularly right where it meets the darker contour shade. Now we're going to take our flat brush again and our matte base and just set the concealer in place. This will give you that really nice clean line, but also a soft blend in the crease above it. Taking that flat brush and the highlighter shade this time, so something with a little bit of shimmer, focus this on the inner corner of the lid, then very softly sweep this across the lid over the matte color that we've already applied. Now you might have noticed that we have quite a divide between our light lid and our contour shade. So we need to fade the two of them together. So we're gonna take our fade shade and we're going to apply this right where they meet, right in the middle. Now you can use your mid-tone for this as well. However, a fade shade just adds that little bit more of a different tone, different texture, different depth, which once again, brings your eye makeup look to the next level. Taking that flat brush and a little bit of that contour shade, we're now gonna work underneath the eyes. Keeping it really close to that outer third of the lid, blending it then to the outer half, as close to the lashes as possible. So get right underneath those lashes. Then take your mid-tone on that same brush and start to sweep around this area. What this will do is it will fade out the contour that you've already applied and give you that really blurry line. It's all about the blur. To finish, take your clean blending brush and just sweep around everything, holding the brush really far down on the handle. This is just a gentle sweep to give you that perfect blend. And that's your basic eyeshadow application taken to the next level. Now I wanna add in a few extra steps to give you that pro finish. We're gonna line the inner rim of the eye with a color that matches our skin tone. A lot of people will go directly to white. This actually can be a little harsh, so try to make sure that this pencil matches your skin tone perfectly. We're gonna apply it on the waterline or the inner rim of the eye. What this is going to do is to clean up this line and actually create more of a sharper finish. And our eyes are going to look slightly bigger too. So it's like a two for one. Now I'm going to take a felt tip liner. I'm going to rest my pinky on my cheek. And I'm going to do what I refer to as invisible liner. Basically, this is creating a really, really thin line, getting right to the root of the lashes and deepening and darkening them ever so slightly. If you deepen and darken your lashes and right by the roots, everything else looks a lot more sharper and defined. You really shouldn't see this. It's an invisible line. So I take the felt tip eyeliner and I just work this really close to those lashes and also down on top of the lashes as well to remove any residue of eyeshadow. Whenever you're applying eyeliner, remember to keep blinking, moving your eyes, and then coming back to the same position of looking down in a mirror. This will create much more of an even finish. And you won't worry about blinking and messing up the line. And you can see how much sharper everything looks just by applying a little bit of darkness right at the roots. And then all you have to do is finish off with your lashes and mascara. I want you guys to try this out. I know you beginners can definitely do this. It's a little time consuming, but it's a great way to up your skills. Check out the other videos on the screen, hit that like button if you enjoyed, and if you're new here, hit subscribe. You've been watching The Makeup Chair, and I'll see you next Monday.